Hello. So guys, let's go back to discussing our examples to understand the concept of valency better. In covalent compounds, you'd see valency as the number of hydrogen atoms combining with a single atom of a particular element. Or you can say it's the number of bonds made by one atom of the element. To sum it up, the valency of hydrogen is 1 because one atom of hydrogen can form one bond only. Our first example is of hydrogen chloride. As you can see on this side, there is one hydrogen, a dash and then a chlorine next to it. This dash represents the bond between the two. So, you can say chlorine forms one bond, hence its valency will be one. Next example is of water, a familiar and a known compound. If you observe, oxygen can be seen to form two bonds or in fact, two hydrogens are attached to one oxygen, hence oxygen's valency is 2. Our third example, ammonia, shows that the valency of nitrogen is 3 because nitrogen can make 3 bonds with hydrogen. Methane, the last example, its structure shows that 4 hydrogens are bonded to 1 carbon or that 4 bonds are maintained between the two. Hence, the valency of carbon is 4. So, briefly, the valency of chlorine is 1. Oxygen has 2, nitrogen is 3, while carbon's valency is 4. I am going to introduce another term called ionic compounds. In these compounds, valency is represented by the number of electrons lost or added. To complete 8 electrons in the outermost shell of an atom, we call it octet, which means having 8 electrons in the outermost shell. So, any element having less than 4 electrons in its outermost shell will choose to lose electrons to maintain its octet. Guys, I'll be stopping here, but till the next video, you can revise what we discussed today.